Yo, just want to say, man, I've been through a lot, man, and um, thank God for everything I got and shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the game a long time, man. you know what I'm saying? These stories is just real shit that I've been through, and I'm just having fun telling you things I've been through, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a story to tell, but mine as well. Holla back. Everybody in the club dropped on the floor. Then you heard, blah, 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 blah. And he's just like walking with us like, to the parking lot and shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, a, like a force, man. Like the, like motherfucking, like the devil had a nigga some shit. Niggas was cooking shrimps. Niggas cooking the shrimps the size of fucking lobsters, nigga. Like, I ain't never seen a shrimp that big. I was like, man, this nigga get me. So DMX passed me on the, on, on the arm and says, yo, yo can, you, can you tell your people to move down? I got some, I got some people coming. I need some room. What? I ain't moving for nobody, man. Fuck that. Then he comes up to me and puts his finger in my cheek and just goes. I did what any, any real nigga would do. You know what I'm saying? Boom! So crazy, your man Noriega had to separate the two. Like, like it was like Rikers Island in the studio. Mad niggas, crazy niggas in the studio. And then your man Big Pun walks in. Jam after J. It's in a van next to us in his big black van. Driving, smoking a blunt. This shit, we hear this record called um, um, How to Rob. It's a 50 cent record called How to Rob. What the fuck? Why is this nigga coming at me like that? You know, what the fuck is the problem? It was an ill part of um, hip hop, man. The whole West Coast, East Coast beef. Like, me being an a OG in the game, you know what I'm saying? Been in the game for a long time. It's like, I've lived it. Being in Hollywood, you wouldn't think somebody like that would be so humble. He comes from Queens. This was like something new to me, but everybody kept showing me mad love out here. I mean, and then the nigga just spitting an album, sitting in the chair with a cane. I'm bugging out because I'm hearing like 10 crack commandments. You know what life at the Death album was for hip hop.